would be my time to present uh, the draft of Udara project at the MT uh, from ITB, ITB side. So this is, uh, I made this slide uh, available. You can view and you can drop your comments here. Bitly Udara underscore RPM. So it's all on the Google Drive. Uh, okay, so the RTMP, uh, I understand it as making sense of your data, right? Not for now, but for the future. <laughs> so that's why I put this. <laughs> so this is, you have the same data, but this makes more sense in, in, in structure, in sense of structure and systematic way. And this is me. <laughs> Uh, in coincidentally, Sarah, uh, I'm here now uh, as the coordinator or the leader of ITP repository team. So this project, this workshop is just in time for me to expose what we have here. And then you know, this is, I personally try to endorse the community in ITP by this slide. So measuring stack performance via article level metric is only a way and the other way is to increase the value of research itself by, it's on, by ensuring its online visibility, its easy access, and its reproducibility and verification. So, so we, we should be way beyond the edge indexing. <laughs> I don't know. It's really... Uh, so this is our shared vision about this RTMP and ITP. We, we need to uh, promote acknowledgement and impact, collaboration and networking, and transparency and openness in all of our research, uh, especially the ones that are funded by public uh, funding. And then this is the, the current situation of data lifetime in ITB specifically starting from data created and then it's eventually abandoned <laughs> so uh, by generally following year uh, maybe we ask ourselves where did I put the data <laughs> so we we try to avoid this in much larger uh, group of scientists here so this is the a principle of ITB in RPM, we need to have a stable and searchable repository, accessible and inter interoperable. We can use it uh, using different kinds of machine. We have a flexibility and it should be easy to use and reuse. And then this is just the, the explanation. And we also need to put ourselves as the, as the user of the data. That and, and then I came up with this acronym, CUTE, so the data could, should be compact and systematic. So uh, we, we need to have this uh, structure that easy to follow and then we have a usable format and timely. So we need to share uh, the, the data in time. And then came to this point, we have four working, working package in this Udara project and about the potential data generated, I need to copy Sarah's slide about the potential data that will be generated in this project. And this is the component of our repository, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to define the, the where where is and what is the data storage and the software should be used in the repository and then the metadata, Sarah had mentioned it and the data standardization and then folder structure and then persistent link for easy citation and then licensing for the IPR uh, and the legal uh, aspect and then who is the data maintainer and also the indexing. So. Uh, in, in my point of view, where do we put the data is not important now because as long as people can, can find our data or repository by 
available indexing services, which is a lot right now, it should be okay. <laughs> so, so that's my, it, it, this is our proposal that we have to make some adjustment about this. So in my, uh, in our uh, view in, in, uh, from the ITV side, uh, data uh, should be archived in two kinds of storage. One is the dynamic storage, where we can store uh, the data as live process, ongoing process, and to store immediate sharing of data and other documents, maybe reports, maybe presentation of this one. And then also static storage, which also we have one here. And also if I go to UOM repository, it's kind of static, yeah, based on this space maybe. Yeah, it's static, so once you put your document there and then you can, you cannot revise it until maybe you, you submit another document and then make a link to the both document. So this is our, our concept. So we have here this OSF as well. OSF is uh, our, our, an organization uh, made by the Center for Open Science, which is based in Virginia. It's an, an open organization, you can Google it, and it, it was founded by several people, mostly in psychology, and they have this large funding from, uh, from US uh, NGOs. So they, they launched a product called the OSF, <coughs> Open Science Framework. So this is a, a kind of repository that has uh, the uh, kind of flexibility and easy to connect with other services. So this is an example of of our work here. This is my project with uh, Sydney University earlier in February. We are gathered up to since last year, mid last year, 2017. I go there and uh, actually it's for my personal internship and then with this guy Willem Forfer from, from the Faculty of Science. We have kind of have the same interest and then we start to develop another proposal to to for this activity to be happen uh, in in ITV. So we have this open data workshop. It's a five days workshop. Uh, we held we conducted this workshop in February, mid February this year. And this is all the data that and all the presentation materials we have uh, put it there using freely using this creative commons attribution license so everyone can use it and uh, reuse the, the <coughs> materials so we have here a repository from the OSF that can connect that can connect with another services like Google Drive and then uh, anyone use Figshare here from Digital Science? This is that is also an open, free and open repository, um, and they have a lot of a large storage. And then maybe you Google Drive and then Dropbox. We can connect with several uh, services here with their add-ons. So if Doc, I see that you maybe have some code programming and have a github you can connect it with github yeah. so we have a lot of choice of free free uh, repository so it's not have to be only in one place <laughs> but uh, it's it's important that we can connect all the repository into one so this is practically the, the list of services that can, that can connect with the OSF. <coughs> and also if you have this Mendeley data repository or Mendeley um, uh, list of uh, references, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can connect it. Oh. <laughs> and also because I use Zotero and then I propose to them because I'm the one of the ambassador for, for the OSF in the Asia, Asia region. So I Propose Zotero because I use Zotero uh, for the reference manager. So th this is pretty much a common services that people or scientists use these days. 
so it's it's really uh, we can put this into consideration. Is, is it okay to yeah. have some questions about yeah. that now? Yeah, it's okay. Like... It's, it's okay. Well, what it's would it's you like to? Open discussion. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Um, I've, I've just got two questions. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what our IT people would say in, in our channel. Mm -hmm. And I think probably one of the things they'd ask about is security of, well, no, let me start before I go on to security. You, it's an open repository. Yeah. So does that mean everybody can look at it anywhere? Okay, I will, I will answer that. Uh, so for each repository, you will have these two buttons once you click the public and then everyone can look yeah. yeah and find it and open it and if you still make it private during the embargo period then you can choose the okay. some people yeah the contributor of this project and also we I have actually we have this mock up of the repository I will show you later <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 when it's yeah. private, then yeah, do you, is there logins and so on associated with it that makes it secure? Yeah, um, you have to register with the OSF by email or by Orchid. Okay. Yeah, Orchid is another okay. thing that that we use in in Indonesia right now. So the yeah. ministry is the member of Orchid, so all of the university is automatically in the Orchid right now. Okay for all Indonesia. So no, that, that's important because yeah. I, I'm just trying to think, so I don't think you've gone crazy with security um, in the university. <laughs> yeah. I think um, yeah. the, because this will allow you to link to Dropbox, yeah. they might consider this, Dropbox is an external thing, so it should be okay, but it's just, I would need to basically go back and talk to our computer science people Mm -hmm. About an IT about yeah. about them checking that it's okay for the security things. I don't yeah. think it would be because Dropbox we're allowed Dropbox. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. 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 Maybe or maybe we can we can put another repository. Seems like Dropbox, but we can yeah. use that locally. It's like we use usually like on cloud something. Yeah. So it's yeah. depend on the. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm really yeah. sure because I think I think it will be fine, but yeah. I'm just thinking of what has and to be done. It's good if you're happy. Yeah, if you're yeah. interested and want to talk with the library or IT person in your university, you might consider to talk to them for the whole university to register with the OSF. Yeah. Yeah. They they also have the product U OSF institution. Right. Yeah. ITP is in the staging process okay. right now for applying for that, so it's all free. Yeah. Okay. Of course, they need donation, but you can yeah. donate. Yeah. <laughs> it's all free. Excellent. And also, the minimum file size for one file size is five gigabytes. So that's maximum. One file. One file. One, file. one, file. one, one file. submission of file is one, five gigabytes. It's all on the OSF FAQ if you want to Google it. Yeah, and this is what we have right now. Uh, ITB repository, <laughs> ITB repository, uh, based on ePrints. <coughs> this is what the the static our static repository uh, will look like. It's typical because we have the same uh, software there. Uh, most university in Indonesia use this, so that's why we have this one search. That's an index for uh, Indonesian repository because most of them are in ePrints, based on ePrints software. Yeah. Is this like pure? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, pure. Yeah. I, I look at your. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm yeah. 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 What was that website? I, have, I didn't tell anybody about it. Website ITB? Yeah. Was it ePrints? ePrints. ePrints.itb.is. E yeah. I see now. This is not the same because I always 
So, and then for the static, I have told you that we have ITBER and UOM Pure, and then yeah. this is for final data sets and other final documents, okay. I suppose. And then the type of data and document that we will store is, uh, of course, data. It could be raw data, process data, or multimedia data, or maps. And also that we have document report presentation preprints because in Indonesia we also have this one. So if you know archive, yeah, built by the Cornell University, we have this <laughs> Indonesia. So I put it this almost a year ago and now we have two thousand and five hundred documents in it. So, and is it, this is also based on OSF. Okay. So OSF made this uh, big giant preprint uh, server and then people can make their own brands. You can uh, also find Arab Kiev, an archive for, especially for the Arabic people. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's, okay. it's, it's, it's very confusing for, you know. <laughs> And then this is the, the metadata, this is the general metadata that we have here, the minimum metadata that we have. We are referring this to the GMB2 uh, website. And if you want to see the complete table, you can click on this. Uh, this is the table. So I made this table. This is the general data set. And then this is the general geospatial data sets. It's based on this. I know, Sarah, yesterday you mentioned the 2014 version, the new version of this ISO metadata, but I still cannot download the... the I think, <laughs> yeah. the, I have already started, it takes the results yeah. on this one. Yeah. So I think we're okay. It's, they, they're not... <laughs> They're not moving to the 2014 version, yeah. still using the 2003 version. And also in the UK too. Yeah, okay, so that's good thing. This is the... Yeah. I think we're okay. So the weird thing with the ISO is they want people to use their standards, but they also ask people to pay to download for the PDF. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. silly. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. So this is the, the general geospatial then. And then this is for Udara. I translate, uh, trans transfer this from your uh, document. So Udara metadata will be at the bottom. Yeah, this one. This is Udara, and so we have a set of eleven uh, metadata, and this is the sub uh, sub uh, section of the metadata. I I use I copy paste it from from the Udara proposal. Ricky, does that look good from your perspective? Because I'm not a GIS. Yeah, big pakai ini, Mas Ricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jadi di situ, Pak. Yeah. <laughs> Sampai, yeah, makanya itu. <laughs> uh, general itu. Yeah. This is a big person. Oh, yeah. You, oh, so you, you, you had a role in designing the big. Yeah, I ah, <laughs> Interestingly, because one of the professor <laughs> here, which is his boss, is the head of the BIG. Oh, yeah. so there we go. We're so well connected. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So <coughs> he's Sorry. just a phone call away from Ricky's mobile phone. That's so. fantastic. Yeah. So <laughs> that is smaller than I think. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. A, yeah. It's a, it's a, a summary of. Which I thought was brilliant because some of the some of the what the, we're asked to produce is not in this standard is I think a bit over the top because it asks you to do two sets of uh, um, it, the, you you put the bounding rectangle mm -hmm. in two different coordinate systems and so I think it's only a yeah. very cool thing. So I also agree. So the, the another thing is for the cedar um, because in in common common geologists common earth scientists know this repository Pangea. Originally, it's for uh, for pure geology, pure geoscience. But recently, they 
they expand the, the repository to more environmental. So if you, I have this example of data here. If I type in Semarang, so this is a personal project of mine with some colleague from the University Diponegoro. So if you submit a, uh, say <coughs> final data set here, so the DOI, a DOI could should can be assigned, uh, minted by the Crossref. So a map is, is going to be placed in, in the same repository and some context you can uh, uh, put in some context in the abstract and this is all the metadata that, that they ask for it. So this is also could be one of our option if, if uh, yeah, Banja is, is open and, and, and they review the data submission just like common scientists review a paper. So yeah, because I sub when I submitted this data, it's maybe five times back and forth. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's pretty tough review for <laughs> Indonesian. So it's not uh, it's not many not many Indonesian submit an open data pro to their uh, repository. So there's there's a lot of thing going on and such. So, what, do you mind me asking what kind of comments did they have on MVP? Um, one is the coordinate system and then the methodology. Yeah. Yeah, they say my method to get the data is not, uh, uh, it's not detailed enough for them. So, <laughs> so the coordinate system, they just wanted more... Um, did they? I can imagine they wanted to know some background information about the local coordinate system. Yeah, yeah. About what what uh, meridian and so on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they can uh, pinpoint yeah. the the uh, point, the location in the. Okay. They they want to make sure that. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is the the metadata for the udara. You can I I will show I show you the the table, and then this is the file formats. So uh, imagery we have JPEG, PNG, and then this is the common format. This is the recommended recommended format, which is also supported by the the OSM. This there is this format, common format. So if yeah, so there's no raster format though. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I need to add that. Yeah, raster yeah. format. So the yeah. NetCDF. Yeah, CDF. Net CDF. That's a raster format. Net CDF. Yeah, yeah. I talked about that earlier in the open data. So we have this tutorial about. Uh, and that's CDF. Um, I think if you we choose to use the net CDF, you can also use that. I have this. I have somewhere in the, in the in the uh, folders. So we have a tutorial about that. Uh, net CDF metadata format. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we are going to add that to the list. Are we? Uh -huh. yeah. So I, 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 I must ask, uh, add the raster format, right? Yeah, and make it geo Yeah, and then this is the proposed file naming system. So this is the date, and then this is working package, <coughs> and then this is the data creator, and this is the title. And also, uh, we recommend to use underscore or just minus, yeah, because yeah. Uh, yeah, you. I know you use Linux. I also have Linux machine. It's not. <laughs> no spaces. In yeah, no spaces. No yeah. Spaces. And GIS doesn't allow it, and also not in the path name. Or also in path name. Also so in path name. name. Oh yeah, yeah, in yeah. path name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I just make one comment yeah, about yeah. having the date first? Yeah, date Can, first. Yeah. Is it better it's to date. have the? Um, yeah, so it's not a number. number. Sorry. Not number. Not, you know, file. Is it still true that file names? Not all file names. Not all file names with numbers are acceptable in some systems. That 
I think yeah. most uh, operating system accept number and, char and character for and file name. Might be some symbol. Uh, yeah? Some symbol. Yeah. Not no symbol, it's right? symbol. It's not symbol. No, no, it's number. Number, yeah. Yeah, so and it's a repeating file, the number is first. Because if you want to sort the. Yeah, when yeah. you are the. Okay. So is it better to sort by day? Would it be better to sort by work package? Yeah, it could be working package, it could be working package, yeah, it could be. Yeah. 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 So if you had work package and then day, you could still, you could still sort by the date. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So you have just look at work Okay, so we, we should switch this. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's problem. I mean, it means just in case there is a problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're happy, but you know. I'm happy. I'm a geologist, I'm always happy. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. 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 So, so, okay, this is for maybe. You, you use R, Doc? Um, no? I have a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> I still use but, it, so this is yeah. R. This is to file for Stata, it's just a, yeah. a simulation. <laughs> uh, and then, okay, this is for table data sets, some required minimum requirement, so it should be tabular, rows represent samples or observation, column represent variables and measurements, and no merging, this is important, no merging files, okay. yeah, and then uh, cell format could be string, numbers, category, or dates, I, rem I forgot to mention date and time. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah, yeah. if you do training for data management, mm -hmm. would that include that one as well? Like, <coughs> um, formatting or only focus on policy? It may be policy and the overarching, but we need to have a document which has that information. Yeah, yeah so we're all following the same thing. Yeah. So we might need two trainings, one or maybe like. I don't know, maybe one training, two days, or... Like yeah, because that's what I was going to suggest on the basis of what we're discussing now, is mm -hmm. as, as we talked about, or we talked about, I can't remember who talked about it, but we, we all, somebody talked about it, that um, at the moment we've got a subgroup talking about data management, but we actually need the whole team to be yeah. doing some of this. Yeah. So, it might be that we decide from today, Triana, that we need an hour with the whole team yeah. for everyone to go through this. Yeah. And also to talk to Gordon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then make sure that we're all everybody is following this this yeah. protocol. Um, if that's the right way. Yeah. Um, but but it's it's okay for us as a subgroup to sit and agree. But if if the people in the room will not do it, not do it, will they? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think it, it, it would be good to come from you rather yeah. than me. Okay. Yeah, because you're all Okay, anyway, I'll stop interrupting now. Yeah. So I also uh, attach this kind of uh, example for data. <laughs> so no merging cells, it's very important. <laughs> so this is, yeah? So you ask, are you going to specify a Accuracy for your data, for your new yeah, data. Yeah, like how many decimal places? Oh, okay, okay, accuracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Well, maybe coordinates to be in, in what form? In yeah, 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 yeah. Coordinates, yeah. yeah. Good. I, I take note of that. And this is the proposed uh, flowing of data. So we have this working packages. And then we have data creator. Uh, it it depends whether do we need this one, especially for file conversion table because people are um, common uh, people will make uh, the table uh, <coughs> just like as they visualize the table to the audience. But raw data needs another kind of format, so. 
uh, it it could be useful because not all of them are aware of those formats. So this is for file conversion, file layout, yeah, yeah. and this one. And then uh, if it if it's agree with agreed by both parties, and then the data will flow to the OSF dynamic uh, repository and then the final product will be mirrored to the UOM and ITB repository this is mirror so <coughs> kind of the exact copy and then from here we maybe I have to delete this and, and only for collaborators here and then after the embargo period and then it's all yeah. going to the public yeah, yeah? Two years, right? The embargo period. I can't remember what they said about. I don't think we actually said. It. Well, okay. I think we said it. That, that's that's uh, also one thing I'd like to discuss. Uh, I think in Indonesia we really need longer time. Two years. <laughs> okay. Um, but can I ask also about just about this? We have here the repository. So here we're talking about the pure systems and. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the, other, the other issue is about um, the geospatial data okay. um, and using the ESRI mm. GIS online okay. where that fits into this data flow. Um, okay, geospatial. Yeah, because we Arc. want to share information through ArcGIS online for yeah. the <coughs> web tools yeah. and so on. Yeah. So, uh, Ricky, so uh, the UOM has this account in the S3 for the ARC server, ARC online to, sh to show people and they can try to, yeah, yeah. Do we have one? No. So we only have the agreement to use the software, but not the online account. But for, you can use our university account. So we, you can share the, on, you can access online via our guest account. Um, and it's all, although it's sharing the account details, um, you can still upload data and download data from yeah. it. So it's open in that respect. Yeah. So all the data There's somewhere is. Somewhere in there that needs to come yeah. in. I'm not quite sure. Where so the ARC server is only to visualize and to analyze the map, right? It's only map. Yeah. The, the raw data is already here yes yeah. uh, it can be yes yeah, yeah. We have so the, ta the tables the raw data will be here yeah. but somewhere we can visualize it using your account of art yeah so it's, it's the spatial side of it yeah so that's a bit that we still need to, uh, figure, to out. figure out how to how it fits into this diagram mm -hmm. yeah i think for the uh, share access of art online of the UOM. Uh, if um, we haven't actually going to the field and deciding where where's actually the demonetization site is, but we might need more surveyors to do that. We might recruit more students to do that. Yeah. And those are the ones that will actually input the data into the system. So how do you think? It? Because we give the list of names yeah. to Anna. So they can access the art online, but art this online. But how about surveyor? Uh, is there any mechanism for them to actually be included? Maybe temporarily. Yeah, the same the process. Yeah, the same process that we use. Just to let Anna know, and she can add them to the list. Yeah. And it, so they, we need that in order to use the app. Mm. So the guys at the back here, who can see doing the app, haven't you? Yeah. Is it yeah, No, 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 I know. I realise she's not done it. I wasn't expecting you to talk about it, but, um, but you're able to then download for free the survey software, which will allow them to do the online data submission, data submission yeah. which so will then go into the app server which we can then take out of the app server and put it into the this repository okay. for everyone to share 
this that. So it's the other way around, right? So we from the surveyor goes into the art online first, and then the raw data will be archived in, in this repository. Yeah. yeah? Um, I think so. It's, yeah, it's okay. that the the some of the data is going from the work packages into ArcGIS Online, okay. which is then being read by the the app. Okay. Yeah. To help do the site selection. Okay. So we need to probably sit down and, and draw the links. Mm -hmm. I think. I have got some. I've got some slides on the app online, yeah, yeah, but I'm not sure that everybody wants to hear that. But then I don't. Maybe. I'm not like this. Okay. I think those people are very yeah, you can well, see. But <coughs> two things about that. To talk about the the art online, um, but also I think I am not the technical person for the art online. So the technical person is currently asleep in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they, I can I can get um, him to join us on Skype if we have technical questions. Yeah. He does all the service stuff. I don't do the service stuff. We can go back to our room in the other building if we want to try to make yeah. stuff. So it's an option, but obviously. Or maybe tomorrow. Yeah, or, or tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, if, if there's any, uh, there are any questions. And maybe it's a good idea to get him to look at this data flow yeah. to make sure that we have I, I am thinking yeah. correctly about But first, uh, uh, we have to revise the this this presentation yeah. a bit. So I'm so sorry that I didn't That's realize. Okay. Um, we haven't had a chance to complete the um, sort everything else. It's a life process, right? It's a process. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, uh, our, our proposal of the folder project structure. I made this mock-up. You can click the link. So where is it? Yeah. I have this uh, uh, mock-up. It's it's for only me and Ricky in the contributors uh, yeah. for now. So the structure is like this. For each working package, it's separate, separated into each component, and then each component will have their own physical storage and then own folder structure. So, but so hmm? are you saying that Dropbox? Let's, let's say we the uh, I'm thinking of the megabyte limit uh -huh. is probably gonna mean that no none of your data can go onto this. Um, uh, so it's gonna have to go either via Dropbox or some other data repository. So does this just read a file name that is then on Dropbox? Is that yeah, yeah. If 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 uh, you wanna you have this Dropbox Dropbox account and then you should choose which working package you are in because so let me explain a bit about the component so this is the central component and then this is the sub component which is uh, in, in my uh, view is the working package so there will be four sub components working package one two three four so each component has their own physical hard drive online in the osf and then they can uh, use the same folder structure which is this is what i propose and then for each working package for each sub components we can assign different uh different this so yeah. this private public uh, access yeah. can be assigned uh, based on components, so okay. yeah, so we can close this one but open this one. Yeah, okay. For, so so yeah. for each of the researcher, yeah, so you mean for everybody, <coughs> they can well, we can invite all of the collaborator yeah. here, but also we can have different ones here, yeah, yeah, so you can make yeah. so. 
you in one word package, yeah. you can't can you make some data public, some private, or is it only or oh, in in the folder it? level? Yeah. Oh, I have. Folder is the subfolder or the. This is the so I have to draw this maybe. And public, it's only public to the Google. But yeah, the speaker. Yeah, for the two. Yeah, yeah, not, the, not public, public. Yeah. No, but. And then the other thing is mm -hmm. what, what is the link? Okay. 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 Okay.
they have brain image imagery that right. why uh, okay, which is even worse this is even more, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so they accept it yeah okay. they appreciate the fact that you need very <laughs> big files okay. yeah. so i mean if it's a single file if it's only a single file that is five gigabytes yeah. then yeah i should i can work with that okay. Okay. Single file. So, five gigabytes. So, so how many files do you have? Oh, well, maybe a hundred, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's Dropbox. If, if you yeah, have to... Yeah, yeah it's not Dropbox. Box, so and if you pay one terabyte, it's around 30, 40... Yeah, yeah, uh, it is. Okay. But we, what we so, might have to do, though, is we might have to have a Dropbox Maybe a Dropbox is like a holding area, like a departure lounge. <laughs> <Yeah, it laughs> where, where then we go on to this yeah. after we some. Yeah, so that's why I asked for the for yeah, 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 yeah. in the beginning because the GDPR is a lot of work. Yeah. Using Dropbox. Not using Dropbox. I mean, you said you have to use the separate system. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you have to be careful of the data instead of information. Yes, yes. Because so sometimes, uh, like, like we use it, sorry. Uh, Google, someday Google Drive, and then sometimes they you reluctant for use yeah. like a Google. Okay. Yes. That's, that's, so uh, I don't know about the UK, but the AU usually uh, reluctant for the use of, of the, I mean, the public. They, yeah, yeah, they do tend to be. I, I guess. guess. Only be have. Yeah, of course, we, we, can, we can do it like uh, with our own cloud or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's similar like Dropbox, but we have to do it. <coughs> Yeah, to define what the requirement is. Yeah, then, then we can assure the sustainability of the yes, of course. Yes, of course. If you ask me, I can answer right now. We ha we need yeah. we need a cloud system in IPB that yeah. can work like Google Drive. Yeah, it, it, yeah. I think it's uh, right now we have a limited yeah right now we have a limited storage. So that's why we, we try to yeah, yeah. yeah because for example even like the uh, not not only with the department like Astro. Yeah, one person need fifteen terabytes every six months. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's why sometimes yeah, it's the worst. So that's why we try to, I mean, manage how many, how many, how how much the data. Yeah. So yeah, it's so Doc, it's kind of. Uh, two domains here so okay. if you look at a uh, nationality or geographical domain they tend to narrow down <laughs> and when you work with the open science society they yeah. want to okay. yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> as far as they I can know. <laughs> I know. That a, in the world, I know that is open and uh, sometimes closed yeah. but actually everybody agreed to open but they have to know what the use like the AU really yeah, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so that's why it's a little very very strict uh, even I uh, uh, if I don't want to publish my yeah. own email data yeah, we have to <coughs> yeah, yeah. 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 That's the idea. Yeah. so we need a feedback from your end <laughs> about this no, uh, right. well, no, so I know. I need to take uh, this to uh, technical uh, people uh, to get them to approve. But no, I think I don't see that it should be any different to Dropbox. Yeah. So if we're allowed Dropbox, we should be able to do it. And it's like pure. Yeah, so hopefully. But, but we'll so I guess the main thing that I want to check on is how the private <coughs> yeah, yeah. system works for keeping stuff. Mm -hmm. But, but, it, but, but it, yeah. yeah. But it only counts. This is just while in the project lifetime. This, oh yeah. 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 No, this is the project lifetime, and then it goes somewhere else at the end, doesn't it? This is a this is about project management. Yeah. So in in my slide, it would be yeah. So. This one is for ongoing process, a project management. Yeah. So the yeah. end project will be in here. Yeah. So people, the, the, maybe yeah. this one is still still restrictive. Okay. Yeah, only for the uh, collaborators, and then this one is the so 
most of the public. public. Yeah. I think we can put it that way. So we need to take this back. Either, I mean, it was always going to be the way, but we have to get the institution mm -hmm. to just check that it's all going to work. Mm -hmm. I think it was a problem. Yeah. Yeah. The problem here that I think is a big problem is the fact that it's not hot. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 Persistently, so we have uh, an agreement with Crossref here in ITB. So, if we have this end product in our uh, static repository, we can assign BOI from Crossref. And the, the reason I use these two uh, persistent link is because uh, let me go the other way around. Nah, that's because. Both are linked by this uh, database or index. Okay. Yeah. So data side or kit process. You you can search for my data or my project at the OSF or 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 fixture that I have from this portal. So uh, that's why the OSF is connected with the data side for the DOI and the ARC persistent link and then we also have cross drive for our own repository so all will have a doi assigned whether it's in project level or in maybe in file level all right so you can do pretty much all the way through yeah we have a choice of that so we we have to <laughs> choose yeah yeah so that's why i i mentioned that whichever we place the data, it's not really important right now, as long as we can find the data from those portals. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And also, the, we, I have to point out this, so we have this SINTA, SINTA is kind of a system to measure uh, researchers and lectures in Indonesia performance, and it connected with the Google Scholar and the ORCID. Right. Yeah, so also I have been active in this initiative also open citation <laughs> it's it's going to be a link to, so where we put the data is not important as long as we open it and index by those yeah and then this is about the licensing i know the ipr we should go with uh, sarah a slide to make an formal formal agreement about the data and then we also uh, I propose this free option of licensing. Maybe this one is preferable aside to this uh, Creative Commons Zero because if you use this one, you don't have to cite the the data creator. Right. It's not yeah. It's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's just kind of there's no. Yeah yeah. I I waive this 
work to be public domain. Okay. Yeah. And for this one is you can do whatever you want with the data as long as you cite us, the yeah. data creator. Yes. And if you use if a product or a software is the result from this project, we can assign this license. Uh, and then also this is new, I think so, academic free license, but but the common ground is kind of the same between this, this and this. So we have this choice of licenses. Uh, and also embargo period, of course, if any must be clearly stated. <coughs> so, okay, about the data maintainer, after the project, I know if the project is on, we, we can assign this data uh, steward at project level, but after the project is finished, do we have to assign a university level? I know that ITB don't have one currently, so it should be uh, our opportunity to make another position for that. Uh, she or he, he, she or he will be in contact with Udara PI or Kobi eyes if a problem arises, or, or uh, some data users need uh, more specific data to be released. Yeah, I think so. We need to have this university level. Usually at the library, right? Yeah. 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 It's at our yeah. library. Yeah. But that's true. Yeah. Usually at the library. one of the library. Y yeah. Should be one of the library. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should be. <laughs> can our librarians do that? Or you. <laughs> or, or you can be one. I mean, it's different. <laughs> it's different things, hey? Yeah. There's the... There's the, the there's Udara. Udara. After the project the finish, yeah, yes. we have to assign. Okay. Yeah. So that's after the project. Yeah. yeah. This is after the project. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And all because I. Like as you need this project that is due during the project. Yeah. 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 That's it. My. Yeah. That's, that sure was our proposal here. Yeah. yeah. That people follow the right uh, standards. <coughs> and yeah, then the university module maybe talks about project models. Mm -hmm. Make sure yeah. university standards are maintained. Yeah. Uh, of course, some of this is related to things that we did in Kiosk, which is completely yeah. dedicated to yeah. 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 research and so on. Yeah. Maybe it's the one that we can propose to yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's all for me. Thank you. Oh, so I can one thing I'll just Yeah. Thank you very much.